My opinion has been summoned. So let's see if this competition is any good. I love high level solo jazz competitions because I know the dancers do more than just choreograph sets. Solo jazz dancers seem to embellish music honestly just more naturally when they're dancing by themselves than with a partner. At least that's what it seems like to me. And there's something about not being connected with another dancer that is liberating and makes it easier for me to see real personality when I'm judging competitions. Let's hope this solo jazz throwdown finals at IOHC is all that it looks like it's gonna be. But before we do that, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24-hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. All right, for our first battle, for the yellow side, give it up for Mr. Brandon Barker! And in this first of two battles in round three, Brandon will be battling in the blue side, Latasha Barnes! So once again, it's gonna be a blues. Brandon, you're gonna get 12 eights, then you're gonna get 12 eights, Tasha, then you both hop out there for the final course, six eights. A brief intro, I believe. Two way count intro, my man. Here we go, let's get it started. Right there. All right, judges. I'm so sorry, but you gotta choose. Remember, one flag and one flag only. Over here, we have the blue side with Tasha. We have the yellow side with Brandon. Judges, one, two, three. Judge! Go. The blue side has it, Latasha! Congratulations, you're going to the finals. Oh my goodness, all right. We got one more battle for this round. In the yellow corner, give it up for Naomi Uyama! And in the blue corner, make some noise for Caleb Teicher! Once again, we're gonna have the exact same format. 12 eight counts, 12 eight counts, six to tear it up together at the end. A brief intro, two eights I assume. I'm sure you'll catch it.
<laughs> oh, give it up for them. Don't let them fool you. They're fine. All right, judges, you gotta choose. The blue side with Caleb, the yellow side with Naomi. Judges, one, two, three, judge! <laughs> blue side has it, Caleb Teicher! Amazing dancing. All right, so now there's one round left, the final round. We have one more battle to decide it all. Can you give it up for all of our competitors so far? So I'm gonna call up my competitors first in the yellow corner, bring it out from the USA, Latasha Barnes. And you may remember him from such battles as last battle. In the blue corner, Caleb Teicher. All right. Ayala, I turn it over to you. Here we go. The judges are still on the hook, everybody. In the blue corner, we still have Caleb. In the yellow corner, we still have Tasha. We gotta decide who is the winner. Judges, focus your chi right now. Make some noise for you think you win. One, two, three, judge! Latasha Barnes! In the yellow corner is your 
our champion. Congratulations, Caleb. Great job. Give it up for both of these two. And one time for Latasha Barnes. I know her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was entertaining. And I honestly feel both uh, Caleb and Latasha deserve to be in the finals round based on just their technical execution. It was awesome. I feel like they gave it their all the majority of the time. There was just one little thing that kind of irked me, though. I do feel by the time that they got to the finals, I was kind of tired of them. I feel like their earlier presentations leading up to the finals felt less lazy. I see this problem a lot with higher level dancers and it's always interesting to witness. It's almost like the preliminary rounds leading up to the finals are like watching an all-star level competition and the last round is like an invitational level competition. Not to say people in the invitational level can't dance, but just hear me out. Like in the all-star competition, people feel like they still have something to prove and they go hard and never let up. But I feel like dancers who are in that invitational level sometimes don't perform at levels that demand respect because they've already won the social status of being good regardless of what they're doing in that specific moment. This is what it kind of felt like on that last round. Now, I did like the fact that they perform solo jazz dancing. They didn't try to mix something else with solo jazz to kind of stand out at the expense of solo jazz. A lot of dancers do that, but I really like that they didn't do that. Another thing that I really liked is I felt that Caleb's moves mirrored one of my favorite solo jazz dancers right now by the name of Nathan Butte. It was cool to see some of the same types of moves without you know, them looking like he just totally ripped off Nathan. It was kind of like an homage. Now, I will say my favorite dancer was neither Caleb or Latasha. My favorite was actually Naomi. I felt there was never a division between her innate swing rhythm and the choreography she was doing. They were just merged perfectly together. Now, people might complain that, you know, her set may have been too simplistic, but I beg to differ. Classic moves don't always mean easy. There's a difference between looking like you've been... There's a difference between looking like you're doing moves someone taught you at a swing workshop and doing authentic improvisation. Naomi's core rhythm in her body felt so organically natural that I felt the only other person that could have matched her rhythm was Latasha. But on the other hand, I couldn't have imagined Naomi doing Latasha's choreography because it may have seemed a little too inauthentic for her personality and style. That's just me. Now, I think the perfect dancer would have been a combination of Latasha's syncopations, Caleb's control, and Naomi's rhythm. Yes. Alexander McCormick would have been the perfect dancer in this competition. I'm just saying. Who was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.